So one problem people have when they start with Thrive Themes with Thrive Architect is that they build a first page from a template or from a landing page uh, in a landing page format. And then when it's time to link to a blog, they realize that the header is different than the header that they have uh, on their first pages. Uh, same thing with the footer here. I have a footer like this. And if I click back to the blog, you see that the footer is different. And the reason is that in the landing page format, Thrive has included a header and footer uh, reusable element. But for blog pages, for example, the header and the footer is coming from the theme and not from Thrive itself. So in this case, I'm using a theme from Thrive Themes called the Rice Theme. But really, uh, it's not this header, it's coming from the theme and not from the landing page configuration. So it's a bit technical, but basically, uh, when you create and I'll show you right now if I edit this page. So this page is a landing page and the way to find out if it's a landing page or a regular page is that here at the top it says in the breadcrumbs it says landing page. So that means this page was created as a as a landing page. So what we're going to do is copy those elements here into a regular page and uh, we're going to configure the header in the theme itself and not uh, use it there. So use it from the landing page um, header. It can be confusing for some people, especially especially if you don't know WordPress, maybe if you're starting. Uh, it can be confusing, I totally understand, but if you follow the steps, then hopefully it's going to make sense uh, in this video. Um, so first thing, I'm going to do so I'm editing the page I'm going to just save those sections into content templates so we can just copy it in a brand new page so just follow uh, you can do it on your own site so I'll just call it section one here keep it simple and then I'm going to click here so in this case every section is built as a background section if ever you've created a so let me so let me do it and then uh, maybe I'll, I'll show you if you have a problem uh, if you don't see this background section there I'll show you uh, most likely what's the issue but so let's do section two so make sure you click there so I'll just pause and do all of them one by one. Okay, so I've uh, I've copied it. Uh, so I've basically created a content template for for uh, each background section. And a content template, really, when you click there, it's a reusable element. Uh, and then we're going to be able to insert it on a different page. So what I'm going to do now is find my home page. So that page I showed you was the home page. So I'll just find it. And the way to do it is if you look for front page, and then that's the uh, that's the page in, in question. So there's a lot of drafts, there's a lot of other pages, but basically find the page that you want to uh, recreate. And what we're going to do is just clone it. And the reason I'm cloning it is that all the uh, SEO uh, parameters I've set in uh, on that page will be copied. So I'm going to just call it so I'll just put regular format just for now I'll go and rename it after so the reason I'm doing it is that um, I want to make sure I I use the right one so I'm going to just save as draft for now so it's saved. So what I'm going to do is click this revert to theme template. So I made a copy, but I'll click on this. If it doesn't work, if you click on it and it doesn't trigger anything, just reload the page and just go and reload your, your page in your browser. And then you'll be able to do this. So what it says now, it's going to delete the content, which is fine because that's a clone. We made a copy of it. So I'll just click OK. And now it's gonna uh, come up uh, like this and I'll just save again and then I'm gonna launch Drive Architect again.
So now that you see that the header is coming from the theme, we're going to modify it after. Uh, and then you see that there is a copy of the content, which is not nicely formatted. Basically, I'm going to just delete this. And now we have a title, uh, which we're going to remove. And we have the header and the footer from the theme itself. So now what we're going to do is go and click the plus, click template and symbol. And you can click one time or you can just drag it there. And you're going to just scroll down and we're going to just insert each section one by one. So you see that the section is not full width. The way to fix this, click on the background section. So click somewhere. If you click the video, of course, this the video only will be selected. So make sure you click so the whole background section is selected. And I'm going to click this stretch to fit width. So by doing this, it's going to take the full width. We're going to just remove that after, but I've got the first one and we'll do each of them. So click, you can click one time, do section two. And then again, make sure you click there, click the stretch. Then we're going to do, so I'm going to just pause and do each, uh, each of them one by one. So this is the last one. I'll just again do like this. And I'm going to just save it. And the way to uh, remove this, I'm going to just click preview. There's a few ways uh, you can. But basically what I'm going to do is just click preview here. And I'm going to do this edit page. So not with Thrive Architect. We're going to edit the properties within WordPress. So click this edit page here. And because I'm using a theme from Thrive, I'll just scroll down and this page, page title, I'll just say hide. And that's it. Just make sure you save. And now if we just reload the page here, so I'll just save to make sure. This will disappear because that's coming from the theme. So that's good. There is a gap here. So to remove this gap, just click on this background section. And we're going to use a negative um, margin on the top, just like this. And so very often it's minus 50. Depending on the theme, you might have to adjust it. But um, And then for the footer, again, there is a gap. We're going to just click on the last one and do a negative margin. So in this case, there's a bit more. And I'm going to save this. So now we have the page, the same page, but the header is coming from the theme. To change this header, you will have to do it in the theme itself. So I'm using the Rice theme. So let's go in the dashboard here in, in WordPress. And we're going to go in Appearance and click Customize. So now actually we see, so my home page is still a landing page. So I'm going to make just the switch. Uh, so we preview the real home page. So let's do the switch of page. So I've got a, a few backups here. So I've got the, the live page, which is this one. Uh, so front page, and it's basically that's the way I know it's live. So what I'm going to do is just click quick edit. I'll just put it. And so just renamed it so I know what it is. I'm going to just set it to draft and click update. And so now it's not published anymore. It's in draft format. And the one which I've called regular format, I'm going to, uh, again, you can do quick edit. I'm going to publish it. And I'm going to click update. And to make sure it is the... Uh, the right, uh, the, the home page in this case. If it's another page, probably you won't have to do that. But basically, I'm going to go to appearance and then actually, it's going to go to settings and then reading. And basically, your home page displays, and then you can pick the new page. So that's why I left it as regular format. So I know which one to pick because I had a few backups there. So I'm going to just Click that, make sure it's there, save it. 
and I'll just go and re rename so if I go back to page so I'll just rename this and I'll just basically uh, remove this so if I go to my home page now I have same page but now with the header coming from the theme so let's modify this so the way to do it is again if I come back I'll just close it just to show you show you again so go to appearance and then click customize and depending on your theme if you have a different theme it might be different uh, maybe some some of the items will will be uh, different some might be the same but basically if you go to header then you can pick the header type and you can do custom color and then you could I'm gonna leave it white uh, so I've got reason but you could go and put a fixed color like this so if okay so uh, to change the header basically you can click here uh, just make sure you're you're at custom color and then you could go and take a darker version for example and then what you can do is go at the top menu link and then you can choose white there and make sure you so there's a mouse over as well so I'm gonna change the mouse over and you can just do a, a slight variation so I'll just use a, a light gray here so when you mouse over it change uh, the color a bit and to change the uh, the logo that you will have to go in the theme itself so uh, again uh, let's come here so you can always click preview on one of your page I'll just go back to WP admin just go to dashboard and to change the logo it's Thrive dashboard Tribe dashboard theme options and then that's the logo and you can just pick uh, and upload a new logo right in there uh, and then just save it and uh, then everything will be um, saved so so I'll, do, I'll just show you so if I put the real color here and what I want in this case sometimes uh, you can have a the same exact color there uh, or you can just go and put it a bit darker sometimes a, a contrast is uh, good like this and I'll just so I guess I'll just keep it that way for now I'll just publish it and I'm gonna change the logo here to not have this white so what I'm gonna do is just go here pick that one click save all changes and now we have uh, the right logo uh, and then if we now so this is the menu from the theme to change the menu uh, items themselves uh, the way to do it is go to appearance menus and this is uh, so this is the primary primary menu right here and basically what I can do is search for so if you want the blog can actually search for it click add to menu and then you can just move it to the position you want so you can have multiple pages like this and just click save and if I come back here then the blog is there and I'll just refresh I've got some caching but if I refresh and I see that the uh, the uh, menu is consistent on all the pages so again so I will have to change my home here so let's come back there so you might when you swap pages you might need to relink recreate some of the menu item so now we have the right link and then if so just make sure you refresh clear your cache if you haven't done so click home click blog and we have the same uh, header uh, on both um, pages if you want to change the font size or the font family so the font itself uh, 
at the top there. There is a code that you'll see in the blog post attached to this video, and you can basically paste the different section of this CSS code modify the font size and your maybe your font um, because at the moment with the rice team um, it's not possible to do it uh, within the settings of the theme so we have to use a bit of code um, so that's it that's how you keep your header uh, consistent from with your blog pages with, with all of your pages uh, by using regular pages instead of landing pages